Leading psychologists and psychiatrists like Barbara Fredrickson and Dennis Charney have spent quite a lot of time looking at factors that help people to become resilient. They've studied people in situations of extreme adversity to try to help them to understand the characteristics of people who do well in these kind of situations. For example, Dennis Charney, amongst other things, looked at some of the American soldiers who were imprisoned in the Vietnam War, often spending years in solitary confinement. Barbara Fredrickson looked at survivors of the 9-11 disaster in America when the aircraft flew into the Twin Towers. What they were searching for in looking at these people was some of the characteristics that they have that enable them to do well, even in situations of really extreme adversity. There are lots of findings from their research, but one of the key findings is that the people who seem to do well or even flourish uh, in these kind of circumstances are the people who have a very clear sense of what they're trying to achieve and a very clear sense of what's important to them and their own values. In other words, they have a strong sense of purpose and that sense of purpose is very clearly aligned with what they think is important and what's valuable to them. Now that translates from those kind of very uh, extreme situations into the kinds of things that we can all experience on a day-to-day -day basis. So that often a source of resilience is to remind yourself why you're doing something, what the purpose is, and making sure that the purpose of that is aligned with something you feel important. If you can do that, if you can remind yourself of what matters here, then quite often it's possible to see light at the end of the tunnel and actually pull yourself through what can be a very difficult situation.